occurred to me that when I was, uh, you know, uh, watching television, just check it online the whole time, pretty much this whole pandemic. And as much as a pandemic was a problem, American politics were absolutely that shit crazy. I mean, the crazy, this is the craziest, you know, it's like the dumb guys won, you know, it was like celebrate idiots, you know, it was like really insane. And flag waving, like needless flag waving and all kinds of bizarre. I mean, you you went through, we all went through. We're like, what's going on here? How did a, a you know, how did politics become led by a, a reality TV star who was a, a real estate developer in Queens? It's like, it's like, this is crazy. So I don't mind getting political either because it's beyond politics. It's just nuts. You know, it's like it, the media got what the media wanted. A, a rock star president, you know, like it's like having Johnny Rotten for president, ah! screaming. So the world's going nuts and everybody's screaming. They actually use the word dystopia on mainstream news a couple of times. And I was like, where have I heard this before? And I remember when I was a little kid at the end of the 70s, you know, it was, I mean, at the end of the 60s, it was Vietnam, drugs, protests, riots, cities burning, same stuff, exactly the same thing, except without the disease. Uh, so I was like, okay, they were calling the end of the world then, and now they're calling the end of the world now. Um, if I had to ch choose between my, the two end times that I've seen in my life, I'd pick the old one because it was more fun. It had cooler music and it had black light posters and uh, had Black Sabbath, you know? Like early Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin. It was like, wow, this is way cooler than now. You know, now I turn on the, you know, it's, it's just like Beyonce, you know, it's a pop world. Not that there isn't cool music out now, but it's really separated. I mean, the world is so pop right now. It's just so pop, um, ridiculous, you know, unfun, not fun. There's no fun. Uh, it's, everybody's corny and everyone's like afraid of saying things. And it's just terrible. It's a just disgusting situation. Um, and I don't care if I sound like some old guy saying it's like, dude, it was so much more fun. And back then, you know, you could just, everyone said what they wanted to and just talk it out. Now it's just crazy. I'm looking at this modern dystopia and I kept saying like, you know, I always thought that if it ever got this bad, we would have, if there was a president that was gonna be evil or whatever, it would be, you know, the antichrist. It would be somebody like a mustache twirling villain or, Dark Side for the, by Jack Kirby or, um, uh, you know, some sort of, or Thanos, you know, like from Marvel Comics. But it wasn't. It was just this, this big orange clown. And it was like horrible. I was like, all right, I like the old dystopia better. I'd rather have a mustache twirling supervillain than this. And also, where's Charlton Heston? Where's the Omega Man? Where's all Planet of the Apes? Those are dystopians. Give me something with some rocket ships in it, science fiction, sex. And what do I get? It's just a bunch of crybabies. Um, it's a weird time. I, it's, I can think of all the, the fiction that I read when I was a kid, beyond comic books, into science fiction. Theodore Sturgeon, Isaac Asimov, all that stuff. And I read all that stuff as well. And, uh, and then started watching the dystopian movies that came out, A Boy and His Dog in the 1970s. Um, like I said, Omega Man. Soylent Green was great because that was dystopia. Soylent Green was Charlton Heston and Edward G. Robinson in a future where food was hard to get. So they actually, this is a spoiler alert, they actually fed people other people. But it was all whipped up and snazzy and cool and had a lot of, uh, um, you know, the, the kind of fictional stuff that you that you can live with um, as far as dreaming about or preparing oneself for a bad time, which all the kids did in the 70s. You prepared yourself for these times. It, like my friends and I did you know, when I was little, uh, you know, 11, 12, 13. I was like, yeah, you know, sometime in the near future, everything's going to go to shit. We were completely sure of it because that was all the fiction we read. 
Well, it took a while, but it finally did. It finally did. But it happened in a way that was so boring. It's just like, all right, this is dystopia. Yeah, is anything really bad happening? Well, we're not, you know, our heads aren't blowing up. There isn't, we're not being invaded by aliens. Uh, Thanos isn't here. Hitler isn't here. What we've got is just kind of a, a disease that will kill you if you're old, stop all the business, and just make you sit around your house. <sighs> all right. I should be thankful that it's not as, as bad as it is. Uh, but in my, uh, in my brain, my weird brain, I keep thinking. I kept thinking about this old version of what the of what the evil future would be, or the evil present. And uh, I keep in my head. I'll always think like the best end times are the ones that I read in the books. And these ones are just incredibly long and boring. Too political for you guys?